Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Independence would likely cost Scotland EU and NATO membership, lawmaker says. EU exit is not as damaging as some claim. The EU considers trade action after Bangladesh factory collapse. Plus, EU telco chief backs down on landline price limit. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news. First, from our homepage, an independent Scotland would probably have to reapply to join the European Union and the North Atlantic Treaty Organisation, British lawmakers said. Scots go to the polls on September the 18th, 2014, to vote on whether to stay in the UK or go it alone as an independent nation. Or more of a split from the Union with England to be assimilated into a federal European Union. UK withdrawal from the European Union would not be as cataclysmic for British jobs as supporters of membership claim, London Mayor Boris Johnson has said. Mr Johnson was speaking amid growing pressure on David Cameron over the issue of Europe. <sighs> Great Scott, does this mean that Bozza has been taking a shifty at the government's Office of National Statistics website and having a butcher's at the facts? Stone the crows, windows will never cease. A political figure that actually took account of the evidence. <laughs> Yikes! My job could be in jeopardy if this becomes a trend. The European Union voiced strong concern over labour conditions in Bangladesh after a building collapsed there, killing hundreds of factory workers, and said it was considering action to encourage improvements, including the use of its trade preference system. Wow, that's incredible. The EU will take ec action over Bangladesh. When did they become members? Perhaps the EU has a vision to be the seat of the one world government. Perhaps there is scope for EU litigation in China. I mean, the European Court of Human Rights could be busy for decades with that. The European Commission has decided against setting specific fees for telecoms firms seeking access to traditional copper networks as it would mean consumers paying more in 10 EU countries. Telecoms watchdogs in the 27 member state European Union will not be required to stick to an 8 to 10 euro price range when setting the fees. Today in our video library, as you know, we have written and produced a new documentary, Betrayed, which we have submitted to the Operation Paul Revere contest at Infowars.com. We thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the other videos that have been produced, and so, through the month of May, I will pick out a daily Operation Paul Revere contest entry and provide a link to it on YouTube. Now, speaking of YouTube, you can really help us a great deal with our documentary and our contest entry. By subscribing to our channel and rating our film Betrayed, either like or dislike, I'd really prefer like though please, and most importantly sharing it with as many people as you possibly can. So without further ado, today's video which I have added to our Operation Paul Revere YouTube playlist is Global Tyranny by DJ Big Dad. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, 
then get in touch with us via the word section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, The Unit, on Google+, links to the community page are below.